Hi students, welcome back. I hope you are doing good. So in this part, we will be discussing about the properties of your transition elements. So let's start with this part. Properties of transition elements. So melting point and boiling point. So transition elements have high melting point and boiling point. What is the reason? The reason is because of the strong metallic bond. So you know one important thing that when you have metallic bonds they have strong melting and the boiling points and also another reason is that they have a half filled d orbitals so because of these two reasons the transition elements have higher melting and boiling point so next important reason is that involvement of great number of electrons from n minus 1 d in the addition to ns electrons in the inter-atomic metallic bonding. So what is happening is that you know that transitional elements have 4s0 or 4s1 to 2 and 3d 1 to 10 configuration. So now what is happening is that you are actually involving this n minus 1 orbitals or n minus 1 d orbitals or electrons present in the n minus 1 d orbitals so what happens is that as soon as you involve this greater number of electrons from this n minus 1 d in addition to ns electrons because of that you have the metallic bond possible if the metallic bonding is possible again as i already told you have high melting point and boiling point so because of strong interatomic bonding transition elements have higher melting and boiling point. So the same logic. Next, 